to my SCA, we will definitely enjoy sitting out there in the nice weather and enjoying our lunch. The courtyard is this area out here, so our picnic tables will be arriving soon, and we will have them out there for the summer ends. At this time, we will have our middle school reflections. Middle school requires a lot of transitions and adjustments. Hearing how to make it work for someone who has experienced it tells the best story. This year, I have invited two students from Poplar Tree's class of 2013 to share their reflections with us, Camille McLean and Anthony Imperial. They are both from Rocky Run Middle School and have actually set a great example of perseverance, hard work, and being rich with character at Rocky Run Middle School. We will begin our middle school reflections with Anthony Imperial. Let's give him a round of applause. I was a sixth grader at Papa Tree last year and the class president. Today, what I want to say first is congratulations for making it through seven big years of elementary school. I will be talking with you about my experience shifting into middle school. I am finishing my seventh grade year at Rocky Run. At first, where I, at first, I was really scared and nervous, but also really excited to be going through a change and getting to meet new people. One of the things I was most worried about were the lockers. I was really worried that I would forget my combination. But you guys shouldn't be worried at all because it is so easy to remember once you get used to it. But you should also write your combination down in your agenda and do not tell it to anyone. Also, first week of school, they give you a list with your combination for gym and your regular locker. Whatever all of you guys are worried about going to middle school, trust me, I was worried too. I suggest that you all go to Shifting Gears because they basically give you a tour of the school and what a middle school experience is like. So tell your parents to sign up for the summer session. You won't regret it. When you get into middle school, you have eight new teachers to get to know and eight class periods. Now I know most of you guys are worried about if you're going to get too much homework. You, do, you don't. Trust me. The most homework I have gotten was only an hour's worth. The amount of homework depends on what classes you take. I take all honors except math, and that's a really good clip for me. Now I'm going to tell you about gym. Every day you have gym, it's not like every other day, like here at Popper Tree. What you do is you go to the locker room, and you change to your uniform. It's not as bad as you will probably think it is. And you have four minutes to get to your gym period, and then four extra minutes to change. I was also really worried about being late to my next class because you would get in trouble. And also I had to get to my locker and get my things. First week of school, the teachers stand outside their door and they don't care if you're a little late to your class because you all are going through a change of getting in your fit for middle school. You all might be worried about Sevy Bob Day. It's not bad. Your eighth graders don't even bop you that much, so don't believe that. <laughs> Here are some things I think you all will like about middle school. One, there are no lines, and you all are responsible for getting to your class on time, and you get to talk to your friends in between periods. And two, after school activities like basketball, flag football, are always fun to stay after and play with your friends, and compete the teachers, and then play in the Rocky Run Franklin game. Overall, I think you all will love middle school. And again, congratulations on making it through elementary school. I promise not to slay your lockers shut or bop your heads. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Anthony. Next we we'll have Camille McLean.
which most people probably are. I even got lost on my first day, but I realized I wasn't the first person to do that and definitely not the last. I remember when I was in you guys' place and I had all of these fears and questions, like how was I gonna open my locker and when I get lost walking the class. The one thing I learned is that you just have to take a deep breath and it'll all work itself out. And trust me when I tell you, I learned that the hard way. The weird thing about middle school is the little things you spend your time stressing over in the end turn out to be the easiest parts of middle school. As you guys probably know, I'm here to give you advice on middle school. My first piece of advice is to stay true to yourself and always push yourself. Middle school is all about finding your place and starting to think about your future. So guys, don't let anyone decide middle school for you. I was a little nervous about taking all honors and juggling sports in middle school. I thought it would be too hard, but I learned quickly that that was not the case. If you put in the effort, you will get a great result. Papa Chu really prepared me for the workload at Rocky Mountain. So guys, if you're scared, take it from me. Middle school is not just about learning textbook material, it's also about learning life skills. And my last piece of advice is to just have some fun. If I were you, I would take advantage of the freedom. No offense, but I'm so glad I do not have to walk in a line and be quiet in the hallway anymore. One thing that I thought was really funny in middle school was one day I was going to get quiet in the hallway because that's what I thought I was supposed to do. And a teacher comes up to me and says, you know you can talk, right? <laughs> And when I heard that, I could tell I was really going to like milk. <laughs> the other thing that I find fun is staying after school. At Rocky Run, they have a club for just about everything, from a gardening club to a cooking club. One club that I really thought was fun was the Cupcake Decorating Club. Even though my, me and my friends did it just eat the cupcakes, I feel like we, had, we made some really good memories. So to recap, my two pieces of advice are to stay true to yourself and to have some fun. I think you guys are going to love middle school. Good luck, and once again, congratulations on the graduation. So you have heard some wonderful advice from Anthony and Camille. I want you guys to take them in, reflect on them, and take them with you to Rocky Run Middle School so that you can transition very smoothly from Poplar Tree to Rocky Run. Let's give Camille and Anthony another round of applause. I'd like to make one special presentation. I would like to recognize Mrs. Stacy Casey. Mrs. Casey has been nominated by the Palm Tree staff for the Human Relations Award, and she will be receiving this award, this award on Monday at our end of year staff celebration. So let's give Mrs. Casey a round of applause for all the students that have been here. Now it's time to make presentations of certificates of promotion and class mementos. Well, this will be done with the sixth grade team and Mrs. Dunham. So Mrs. Dunham and the sixth grade team, would you please come forward and take your positions? I would like to thank Mrs. Dunham for putting together all of the t-shirts and helping to organize the sixth grade party. They're going to have fun this afternoon, but we have tons of volunteers, but I definitely want to recognize them. We will start with presenting certificate of promotion to Ms. Moore's class, we have Paulette Acosta Mendoza. And you can clap for each student. Tabija Rowell. And I would like to also recognize Fahan Jabbar. He's not here with us, but we will present him with his certificate of promotion. <laughs> Ms. Powers' class, Aubrey Thigpen. She's not here with us today, but we will present her with her certificate of promotion. <laughs> Alex Wayne. <laughs> and Callison King.
Okay, for Ms. Eisenberg class, we will be holding our applause as I call our names and we will give them one big round panther applause. Ms. Eisenberg's class, Laura Carlson. Kylie Casey. Maggie Corcoran. Jacob Epstein. Rohit Gupta. Abby Pano. Juana McHale. <coughs> AJ Wynn. Zach Petty. Bruce Fan. Justin Fan. Heredia Palai. Emma Rexro, Clark Sabin, Colette Trin, Noha Waspi, Nels Williams, Elise Yi, and Stephen Yoon. Let's give Ms. Eisenberg's class a round of applause. Class, please stand. Lily Nguyen. <laughs> Caroline Ehrenheim. Jordan Baker. Sam Bruner. Connor Cruxton. Emerson Dunham, Caroline Dunning, Taylor Garodnik, William Hardman, Devin Harper, Logan Jones, Simon Kanaza, Brian Keating, Connor Madsen, Daniel Morris, Sydney Motherway, Jordan Nichols, Kendall Pettis, Sarah Radcliffe, Tori Reed. Hannah Rogers, Evan Ryder, Serena Satori, Esteban Schmalz. Let's give Ms. LaCroix a round of applause. The McAdoo's class, Christian Bartram. Eli Capitotto, Georgia Coos, Alina Danehauer, Cameron Hadley, Haley Herman, Christina Wang, Jordan Hunley. Mary Kominsky, Jonathan Lowry, Joey Maddai, Braden McGrath, Owen Morgan, Anastasia Namova, Keith Orr, Sebastian Pandar. Vanessa Rana, Vanessa Scola, Ryan Ryan Swindoll, 
Mackenzie Thompson. Manair Wang. Alex Yi. I give Mr. McAdoo's class a round of applause. class. Parker Agin. Sarah Amadi. Kyle Bean. Isaac Berge. Jaden Shabazz Azama. Sammy DiCarlo. Michael Estrella. Tyler Garcia, Brad Hahn, Skyler Hunley, Rhea Carana, Gabrielle Levy, Sahar Nazari,